Hey everyone, it's Jamie again, and here we are working on the second activity of our part three in our Zappos project. I just thought I'd try starting from the end, showing you where we're headed, and this might actually be all that some of you need to see. Then after I just go through these charts quickly, I'll show you what I did to make them over here in the second tab. So my first pivot chart and pivot table look at the average price of shoes by brand. In my pivot table here, I have them sorted from lowest price to highest price. And glancing visually at the chart, we can see that prices start relatively low with Nike at a price of $93 per pair, still quite expensive, all the way up to Hoka 1-1 where the average price of their shoes will cost you $138.76. It seems to me that there's almost a natural division here between New Balance and Saucony. If I were glancing at it, I'd say that the upper end shoes coming in close to $120 per pair or more is going to be Saucony, Brooks, and Hoka 1-1. Whereas if you're looking for a pair at close to or just under $100, you'll be best sticking with New Balance, Adidas Running, Asics, or Nike. In the next chart, shoe ratings by brand, what I've done is I've taken each type of rating that we have. We've got the overall rating, how many stars did each style of shoe get? But then we've got specific ratings for comfort and style. For each of the brands, I have plotted in the data table and then in the data chart, all three of those comfort measures. So in the first line, Nike, I'm sorry, the first line, New Balance, overall, satisfaction as measured by the overall star rating is 3.82 stars. New Balance scored on average 3.93 stars for comfort and 4.33 for style. To try to make these visually appealing, or at least in a way that my brain could make sense of it, I sorted them by overall star rating. So New Balance is the lowest overall star rating, then Nike, Saucony, Hoka 1-1, Brooks Adidas Running, and Asics. ASICS, like we saw in the other chart, is a surprise scorer for overall ratings given the fact that it's the second least expensive brand of shoe that we're looking at, which appears to be a pretty good value. Here on the chart, we're ordered in the order of overall style rating. So the overall style rating it has that blue color, which is the left-hand most column. And that left hand most column will get larger and larger for each successive brand of shoe as we move right. So we can see that ASICS has the highest satisfaction followed by Adidas running. And both of these two, incidentally, are relatively low priced shoes. Those turn out to be our biggest, um, our strong, they have the strongest ratings for shoes. The two high priced shoes, Hoka 1-1 and Brooks, these are our big dollar brands. They have slightly lower overall star ratings than do Adidas and Asics, but they jump higher here for comfort and style. People are spending a little more money and they seem to be happier with the comfort than happy with the style, but that's not translating into the overall rating. New Balance, Nike, and Saucony still have pretty good ratings, but just aren't scoring as high as the other four brands. In my last chart, I've got true to width, I'm sorry, true to size and true to width by brand. In my pivot table, I have my rows are my brands, and then the values are the average of true to size and the average of true to width. I have them sorted by true to size. When looking at two variables like this, I'm not sure if they're related or they're not going into it. I often will start by sorting by one. And so here I've sorted by true to size. And in each successive shoe, you can see that the percentage of respondents that said they were true to size gets larger. Then kind of to eyeball whether or not there's a relationship between these two variables, I look to see if there's a pattern in the true to width. And it really doesn't look like there is one. So when I glance at this, I think to myself, hmm, shoes that are sized true to size aren't necessarily true to width in terms of people's impressions. I would have thought that maybe some shoes were sized well and some weren't, but this would say that really the true to size and true to width rankings are independent of one another. So that's what I did. If you're interested in seeing how I do it, 
keep watching and I will show you here in this AS2.